Hey, Frank. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. What's How up? are you doing? I'm doing great. What about you? Uh, I'm fine, thank you. I need more, more practice and listen to the conversation. Hmm, listening to conversations. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's easy. Let me help you. Um, okay, I'll share something with you because you were early, Erica and Frank. Okay. That is a very important website, but actually, hold on. Let me do something. Okay. Here. Forget about that. Forget about that. We need to add something else there. Okay, there. The second link, not the first one. So that is an index. That is an index of over 500 audios. Okay. If you open it, you will see an index. You select one of them and then you open the next one. Don't discriminate, okay? Just open one, then open the next one and you will have the script. You know what is the script? Yeah, the script? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The script of the audio. And you have it on the top, you have to play. You have the, you can click play. Now, how do you use this? Um, y voy a hacer esto super rápido en español porque me estoy saliendo del tema. Esa website eh, tiene más de 500 audios, les estaba diciendo. No yeah. discrimines para practicar esto, eh, que es un plus y es un ejercicio buenísimo. Número uno, no traduzcas. Abrí cualquiera de esos audios. Dale click a play y durante los primeros tres días que puedas practicar, todos los días, por lo menos unas cinco veces que practiques con cada audio, entre los primeros tres días solo vas a escuchar y leer escuchar y leer en voz baja trata de imitar el acento del que está leyendo del, del audio, perdón ok, si puedes copiar en un cuaderno la, la, um, el script, el diálogo y baja, puedes descargar el audio entonces descargarlo en el celular cuando tengas un chance dale play, escucha y lee sin hablar, primer día segundo día, empecé a intentar hablar Solo leer cada palabra. Si encontraste alguna nueva, acordate, siempre marca dónde está el estrés de la sílaba con un triángulo, ¿sí? Dónde está el estrés de la sílaba de cada palabra nueva que encontres. Tercer día, empezá a entonar, a leer igual. Cuarto día, lee tal cual, te tiene que salir tal cual. Y el quinto día, hace una prueba. Agarra tu teléfono, te grabás leyendo ese diálogo. ¿Ok? Ya te grabaste. Ahora, con otro teléfono o en la computadora, le das play al mismo tiempo que le das play a tu audio y al audio ese, ¿sí? Y escuchas. Y vas a notar qué estás diciendo bien, qué estás diciendo mal, ¿ya? Hasta yeah. el sexto, séptimo día, tú puedes traducir al español lo que ahí dice, ¿ok? So, por último, okay. el español. Because Spanish, you know, you know Spanish already, right? It's not important. Okay, so where were we? Where were we? Can somebody tell me where were we? Yeah, well, yesterday topic. Yeah, what was our topic yesterday? Yeah, the last topic that we saw yesterday, it was about um, what subordinating clauses and independent. <laughs> oh, good, man. There you go. Good. Yeah, subordinated clauses. Adverbial, adverbial clauses of time and subordinated clauses. Can somebody give me an example of a subordinated clause? Before I go to United States, I need to speak English. Okay. Good. Before I go to the um, United but I, States, but I say it's okay. It's okay. Don't worry, don't worry. Don't worry. It's okay. Erica, 
So before I go to the United States, I need to speak English. What is the subordinated clause there? Before? I live in the meeting yesterday. You were not, oh, okay, you were not in the meeting yesterday. So listen, before I go to the United States, I need to speak English. Hmm. Okay. So before I go to the United States, if I only say before I go to the United States, does that make sense, Erika? Uh, no? Okay. No. Ayer, ayer, ayer veíamos eh, cláusulas subordinadas, es decir, que no son independientes. No puedo yo solamente decir, como decía Marlon, antes de irme a los Estados Unidos. Si tú y yo estamos hablando ahorita y mira qué bonito es el día, ¿verdad, Erika? Qué chivo es aquí, que no sé qué. Y de repente te digo, antes de irme a los Estados Unidos. Before. Sí, ¿qué me dirías? No, no, eh, ¿qué me dirías, Erika? Si yo te, solo de repente te salgo con eso, ¿no? Antes de irme a los Estados Unidos. Debo wow. hablar inglés. Ajá, te quedas como, ¿what? Ajá. Sí, se entiende. Esa parte es subordinada a la, a la otra. Tiene que estar la segunda parte porque si no, no tiene sentido lo que estás diciendo. Antes de irme a los Estados Unidos, tengo que hablar inglés. Very good. Good. Ok, Juan, can you give us an example? Remember I'm, yesterday. You are mute. You're muted. Muted, Juan. Hey, hi. What's up, Juan? Um, can you hear me? Totally. Okay. Um, one example. Mm -hmm. One example. Subordinated clauses. Can um, I An idea. You don't remember, it's okay, don't worry. Don't okay, worry. To, um, okay, remember I, uh, the uh huh, Frank. Uh, maybe after school, uh, I go to the supermarket. I will go to the supermarket. Yes? Yes. Okay, yeah. Supermarket. So yeah, after school, yes. I'll go to the supermarket. Okay, very good. So let's break this down. Look at the example and it says before she went to school, she finished all her homework. Now, if we break down that sentence on what is each part, we have a subordinating conjunction or adverb or a connector. Remember? Before. Then we have a subject. Then we have a verb in past, in this case, before she went to school. This is the subordinated or independent clause because you cannot say just before she went to school. That doesn't make sense, okay. But this one by itself makes sense. She finished all her homework, okay? That does make sense by itself. Esa sí tiene sentido por sí sola. Decir, ella terminó toda su tarea. Yeah, makes sense. Tiene sentido, okay? Before she went to school. Mm, antes, de, antes de que ella se fuera a la escuela. No tiene sentido, ¿ok? Questions. No questions. Yes, en el orden. Eh, igual, ¿verdad? Hay que ir buscando como la, como la lógica, porque no sonaría igual. Uh -huh. Yo le pongo, por ejemplo, eh, she finished. She finished. 
sí, sí tendría yeah. sentido, Frank. Acá sí podrías hacer eso. Y de hecho es lo, como lo normal, ¿no? Yeah. Siempre decimos primero la acción y después lo que ocurrió debido a esa acción. She finished all her homework before she went to school. Ahora, ¿qué es lo que cambia, eh, Frank? Ahí lo que variaría sería el uso de esta tipa que está aquí. La coma. ¿Ok? Mm -hmm. Si empezás con la acción, es decir, con el sujeto. She finished all her homework before she went to school. Ya no necesitas la coma. Ok. Ok. Esos son los problemitas que tenía la plataforma. <risa> <risa> okay. Sí. Ahora, cuando diga reescribir la plataforma, tenés que reescribir toda la oración. Ok. Yeah. Any other question? Questions, questions, questions. No. Ok, let's look at the next example. On the video. It is okay to say, and as we were talking, since they got married, they have traveled around the world. They have traveled around the world since they got married. You see, there's no comma. It's just one sentence. Okay. Now, yesterday I sent you uh, a picture to the chat with a lot of examples of time. You have after, while, when, before, since, until, and as soon as. Voy a detener la clase por un minuto. Eh, mañana tenemos el examen um, de midterm, de medio curso. Les voy a pedir que recuerden eso, que mañana antes del de la medianoche tiene que estar terminado el midterm en, en su sección 3 uh, uh, para poder continuar y es, empezar ya, de hecho mañana comenzamos ya con la sección 4, ok pero si sí es necesario que eh, terminemos para mañana antes de la medianoche el, el midterm, y así mañana durante la clase igual si tienen alguna pregunta pues voy a estar ayudándoles durante la clase con el, a aclarar alguna duda con los contenidos que hemos visto, ok we are going to have a class tomorrow teacher, tomorrow yes. Friday I know. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, actually. Give me one second because I didn't mention that on the previous group. So, yes, uh, vamos a hacer algo. Ahorita los voy a dividir en grupos para que, I'm sorry, I'm going to split you in groups so you can practice creating at least one sentence for each one of the connectors that I sent you. Okay? The conjunctions of time, after, while, when, before, since, until, and as soon as. You got it? Yes. Got it. Okay. Got it. Please work in groups. Okay, there you go. Herman, ¿qué tal? Hello, Giovanni. Oh, Herman, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo estás? Welcome, Hello, Carlos. Hello. Okay. Let's start. With the sentences, alguien las tiene a la mano, perdón. Okay. No. My, my example is, is until you are done. 
you will know how hard it is. Okay, something else that you can do is go to the chat and type it if you want. You said, I'm sorry, German, until you have a heart. Until you are done. Until you are a dad. Yes. You will know how hard it is. You won't know how hard it is. Like that? So until you are a dad, you will know you will know how hard it is. Until you're a dad, you won't know how hard it is. Till you're a dad. Hmm. Something's wrong there, and let me tell you what is wrong. Instead of are, you need to use become. Until you become a dad. Hasta que te conviertas. Until you are, hasta que seas, hasta que, hasta que es. Hmm. Yeah. Hasta que seas, papá. Until you... You have become until you would be until you will be. No, that's 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 right. Until you are a dad, you won't know how hard it is. Until you become a dad, you won't know how hard it is, how hard it is, how hard it is. That's a good example to practice your pronunciation. How hard it is, how hard it is. <laughs> well, okay, until you become a dad, that sounds better. Both are correct, German, but saying becomes will sound better okay great example okay uh-huh okay. next with the first word after um after you eat uh, after you eat you can swim after eating, after you eat, yeah, after you eat, you can swim. Mm, after eating, you can swim. Sounds better, doesn't mm -hmm. it? After yes. eating, you can swim. Okay, after you eat, you can swim. After, after you finish your meal, your meal, you can swim. You can't swim. Yeah, you have to leave it clear because <laughs> they can think, oh, oh, so I eat and I go swimming. Okay, yeah. this is the opposite. Okay, good. Uh -huh. Carlos. Hi, teacher. Okay, next. Let's see. Eh, me, estoy, me está costando entender esta parte, teacher. Uh -huh. Este, yo soy sincero y ahorita no entiendo prácticamente qué es lo que estamos haciendo. Ok, um, para empezar estamos ocupando eh, conjunctions o conectores, yo le llamo conectores igual, eh, de tiempo, que son los que están en el ejemplo de, del chat de WhatsApp. En la primera columna dice tiempo, right? So, tenés after, después, while, mientras, when, cuando, before, antes, before antes, ajá, since, while, desde, until, hasta, y as soon as, que quiere decir tan pronto como, tan pronto como. Ok, so, empezamos una oración con eso, y luego vamos a decir una cláusula subordinada, es decir, sin, sin, otra, sin otra oración, después de esta que vamos a decir, no tendría sentido ella por sí sola. Uh, por ejemplo, el ejemplo de... de um, ¿Quién fue? Herman. Herman. Herman decía, until you are a dad. Mm, por sí solo. O sea, tú y yo estamos hablando, Carlos, y mm -hmm. qué tal el fútbol, que no sé qué, vea, mira Messi, que no sé qué, que bien chaparro, y de repente te digo, hasta que te conviertas en papá. Hasta que seas papá. Sí. No tiene sentido, ¿no? Tendría que completar la oración diciéndote qué va a pasar hasta que te conviertas en papá. Ah, no sabrás. 
¿Qué tan difícil es? Hasta que, hasta que te convertas en padre, no sabrás eh, lo difícil que es. ¿Ya? Sí. Ok. Lo mismo si yo te digo, estamos viendo una película. Después de la película, y no tiene que ver con lo que me estaba diciendo, ni siquiera estábamos hablando, y de repente a media película, yo te digo, después de la película. Mm, ok. Ajá. Ajá, después de la película, acordame que te voy a decir algo. Ok, mm -hmm. after the movie. Remind me, I have something to tell you. Right? Ahí sí ya mm -hmm. tiene sentido. Y right. así, nada más, tal cual. Ok. Sí. Ahora, hablando de estructura, tenés primero el conector y después un sujeto, un objeto y un verbo. Ok. Good. Ok. Continue, guys. Ten más ejemplos. Eh, sí. Si Carlos no se siente cómodo aún en cuanto a la estructura, denle más ejemplos a ustedes para que vaya viendo el día. Y ahí podés ir reemplazando, Carlos. Ok. Recuerda uh -huh. que el inglés es tan sencillo como eso: agarrar partículas irlas reemplazando, cambiar el you por she, el become for run, ¿verdad? Y así, ¿ok? Good. Ok. Let's keep going. Ok, bueno, si quieren okay. eh, voy con la siguiente palabra, voy a morden la siguiente. When. Oh my god. I'm sorry. You kidding? <laughs> oh my god. I'm <laughs> just kidding, guys. Okay, keep going. Come on. When? You said when, when. right? Yeah, when the teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay. When you go to the supermarket um, I buy uh, any any article article just any any article when I go to the supermarket I buy Any article, cuando voy al supermercado, compro cualquier artículo. Ok. Comprar el compulsivo. <laughs> ok. Good. Next. Next conjunction. Before. Okay. Before, Francisco. Okay, give me a second. Okay, uh, maybe before, before, before I take a shower, before the class, uh -huh. before the class, I work uh, in the platform. Uh -huh. Ah, but the verb no cambia. I work on the platform. Before the job, the work. Before the work, I I take a shower. Yeah. I don't know. The next one, um, I'm going to say it all. Because. Yes. Yeah. Oh, what about because? Yeah, because it's difficult. Um, Y se puede empezar no. con conjunction o en el medio se puede poner también. Estamos practicando el principio. Ah, el principio. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, maybe. 
Yes. Mm -hmm. Because you told me, no, because you asked me, I'm on a diet. Because you asked me, I'm on a diet. Porque me lo pediste. Mm -hmm. estoy, estoy a dieta. Um, another example, maybe um, I love my job because I need money. <laughs> I love my job because <laughs> I need money. <laughs> okay, because I need money. Yeah. I I bear my job. I bear my job. Aguanto mi trabajo. Más honesto, ¿verdad? más sincero. Uh -huh. Besides, well, um, uh, I go to the I go to music class because I love music. Besides, no está dentro de lo de tiempo, verdad? No. No, okay, ahí tenemos after, while, when, before, since, until, and as soon mm -hmm. as. What does that mean as soon as? As soon as, tan pronto como. La muletilla so. La muletilla. Sí, lo veo como una muletilla. Eh, lo veo como una muletilla porque viene alguien y te, te dice, ah, estoy haciendo algo. So, 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 so. so. Ya. Yeah. Pero yeah. qué. Entonces. Oh, dominicano, porque lo ocupan bastante. Ah, por momento, because no es una de causa. Bueno, sí, es, se podría ocupar acá en estos ejemplos, pero no estamos ocupando solo los de tiempo, chicos. After, while, when, before, since. Until. Tan pronto como as 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 Um, maybe I finally uh, the meter as soon as uh, finally the English class. English class. Come again, Frank. Okay. I finally the meter as soon as uh, finally the English class. No, as soon as I, ahí sí tendría sentido, mira, as soon as I finish the English class, I will finish the midterm exam. As soon as I finish the class, I will finish, or I will continue with the midterm exam. Good. Okay, good job, guys. Let's continue. Edwin okay. is not joined. Okay, let's finish. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, here you have some examples. You may 
grab your notebook and start working on them on your notebook. You can color in your cheeks. Teacher, we have some dogs mm -hmm. and we can talk in future in the independent clothes. Any tense. Okay. And please take, take, a, take a look at that because I'm not using only a tense, for example, Revisemos los gastos del mes. Oh. Right? It's present. That's present, but you need mm -hmm. to use a different thing. Okay, five minutes. Okay. I hear nobody asking for questions or asking for 
words, you know, that you may not understand. Do you have all of the words? Okay. Let's start. Um, shall we? Shall we start? Okay. I'm going to go from right to left. Okay. I want to start with Juan. Yes. Excellent. Okay, Juan. What do you have on the first one? Um, before the open my mouth. Mm -hmm. My mouth. Mm -hmm. um, I I I think I think two time. Not no a problem. Se, se dice debes. Uh -huh. Must. I must think two Excellent. time. Excellent. Good. Don't forget. Very good. Okay. Can somebody help me uh, correcting one sentence? Two times can be replaced with twice. Yes. Twice, yeah. Twice. You must think twice. Now, it's not I, right? Y no es como que solo estemos diciendo a otra persona, no a mí mismo. No es como you. Exactly. Thank you. Correct, Stephanie. Uh huh. Before, open my mouth. Ahí sería you también. Excellent. Yes. Before you open, uy, bye. Aquí es como una sugerencia. Yeah. Before you open your mouth. Mm -hmm. Before you open your mouth, you must think twice. You must think twice. You must think twice. It's a must to think twice. Okay, hasta que te bañes, no puedes comer sorbete. Hasta que te bañes, no puedes comer sorbete. Let's go with Herman. Okay. Um, until you, you take a, a, a bath, Mm. You can eat ice cream. You, you eat ice cream. Good. Uh, Until you take a bath, you can eat ice cream. Okay. Until you take a bath, until you take a shower. Do you understand what is the difference between taking a bath and taking a shower? What is the difference between taking a bath and taking a shower? Taking a bath is... Ducharse y... Bañarse. No. In <laughs> English... A bath. There is a difference in English. Let me show you really quick, okay? This is the difference. You take a bath in that thing that you see there. Do you see it? Yeah? What is that? Shower? <laughs> no. What's that? It's not a floor. Uh -huh. It's a bathroom. Yeah, no, it's a bath. <laughs> the green thing. Do you see the green thing there? Yeah? Did you see that? Yeah. That's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. It's called a bath tube. A bath tube. In Spanish? Bañera. <laughs> yes, una tina, right? A bath. A tina, so, tina. Yeah, exactly. So that's a, it's a bath tube. I can't remember if it goes together. Bath tube? I can't remember. Bath tube. No, bath tube. And I'm missing the E. A bath tube. 
So you take a bath in a bathtub. Okay. Okay. And you take a shower in a shower. In a shower. Yeah. Makes sense, right? Also, there's a difference between a bathroom, okay, and a restroom. You know the difference? What is a bathroom? What is a restroom? Restroom is a, it's a place, a small place. A small place, good. Place to, to take a rest. To take a rest? Uh, yes. No, both are both are baños. Both are baños, okay? But restroom. what is yeah, a restroom is a public place. A restroom doesn't have a shower or a bathtub. A, res <laughs> a restroom is just the WC, the toilet, just the toilet and the sink, the sink where you wash your hands. Okay? Yeah. That's it. Okay. And a bathroom is a bathroom is a full bathroom. Okay, it has a shower or a bathtub, the sink, the toilet, and some, I don't know, some newer, some newer bathrooms oh, are, yeah. are really big, it, you know. Yep. I confuse you because uh, you separate restroom into the word in two parts. It's oh, hold on. Is, is it together? Together, yeah. Oh, well, yes. It's different. Like <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I always do that. Sorry. Yeah, bathroom, restroom. Yeah. Listen, okay. I, I, I compare with a uh, restroom. Okay, I got you. What you were thinking is a break room. Oh, yeah. A break room. Un cuarto de descanso. Okay. 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 Good. Okay, so desde que te conozco has usado el mismo corte de cabello, Stephanie. Um, since, uh, since? Uh, since live now you, you have... Wait, wait, wait. since, uh, repeat, repeat, Stephanie, since? I love now you like that love no apostrophe v v uh -huh. v since i've oh since i've uh huh now you since i've known you known you know you mm -hmm. you have used the same higher good same haircut okay que dice el público since I've known you since I've since I've puesto como since I know you okay since I've known you Okay. Haircut. Since I've known you, you've used, you've used the same haircut. I can see definitivamente. You've used the same haircut. You know what? This is, this is good. Since I've known you, desde que te conozco, desde que te, aquí diría desde que te he conocido. Hombre, que desde que te he conocido, tú has usado el mismo color de cabello. Right? Like that. Ok. Um, now, the right way to say this will be ever since I know you. Ever since I met you or ever, ever since I know you. Mm -hmm. That could be another option. Ever since I know you, 
you've used, but, but here you do have the present perfect, totally. You've used the same haircut. You've always used the same haircut? Yeah. Okay, good job, Stephanie. Okay, let me have, Ri let me have Ricardo doing the next one. Porque tu me lo pediste he dejado de fumar. Let me see. Mm -hmm. uh, because you you asked for, I left. Because you asked. Ask for. Because you asked for. Okay. Let me. I I. I I was uh, no I left to the smoking maybe <laughs> good don't worry I left to smoking okay let's help guys what do you think because you asked for I left to smoking left to smoke because you asked me excellent because you ask me. Mm -hmm. uh, ask me for <clears throat> like that because you asked me for I left the smoking. I left the smoking. Of course, be because you asked me, I stopped to smoke. Now, because you asked me, I've stopped smoke. Oh yeah, I've stopped. I stopped to smoke. Like that? Mm -hmm. I think. I don't know. <laughs> because Tomani. you request, can I use, can I use, uh, because you request, I stop it to smoke. No, that sounds weird. Because you requested me. Well, I it sounds weird. You, because it's raining here. Yeah, request sounds too formal. Porque me lo solicitaste, quizás algo así sería. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Because you ask me, okay, you give up? You give up? Yeah. Okay. okay, because you asked me for, because you asked me, I didn't like that, because you asked me. I've stopped smoking. Mm -hmm. no. I've stopped smoking. No, no me fijé que había puesto he dejado de fumar. Si hubiese puesto dejé de fumar, sería I stopped smoking. I stopped smoking. Uh, voy a hacer paréntesis acá. ¿Estará bien ese verbo en pasado? Stopped. Stopped. Mm, stop, stop, stop. No, why Marlon? No, because you are talking past since you are using the. <laughs> yes, no, mm -hmm. that's not the answer. Okay, yes. chicos. Um, <laughs> en inglés americano, el verbo stopped se pone en pasado así, es el verbo regular. En inglés británico. Right? Stopped, stopped. Yes. Hmm. No lo reconoce. Mira, hasta me está corrigiendo. Stop it. Está en inglés americano. En británico podría ser stopped. Stopped. Es más el sonido que la idea. Ok. Good, because you asked me, I've stopped smoking. Ok. Then we have Giovanni. Okay. Um, use the block de notas de la computadora, permita. <laughs> That's cheating. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
No, I use the block not. Ah, okay. Uh, no, no, no translate. No, it's block. Okay. okay. Uh -huh. As soon as I see you, I hug like a crazy. I Good, Ricardo. Uh, yes. As soon as I see you, I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll uh, hug you. Hug you. Okay. Like a crazy. Like crazy. Like crazy. Like crazy. Uh, That's it. Like crazy. Like crazy. As soon as I see you, I'll hug you as crazy. Is that right? Or am I missing the, am I missing the E here? I always doubt with this verb. That's huge, right? Hog. Hog. Huge. Hog. Mm, hog. Yeah. Hog. Hog. What hog. is the difference? Hog. What is the difference? Huge. Huh? Huge. Huge. Um, really big. Very big. Huge. Enormous. Hog. A hog is a hog. Okay, I'll hug you like crazy. Okay, as soon as I see you, I'll hug you like crazy. Hmm. Yeah, like yeah. crazy, like mad. I'll hug you madly. Look, I mean, madly, uh, like a madman. Like a madman. Do you know that option? That's a synonym for crazy. Mad. And, and mm -hmm. we we can replace like with as a crazy in the case we are talking como un loco as a crazy now sounds right sounds sounds weird <laughs> it sounds weird i mean grammatically you could do it okay. yes as a crazy I'll, I'll hold you as crazy oh but do you know what i'll hold you as crazy Sí, okay. va, aclaramos eso. Tengan cuidado con el uso de este artículo antes de esa palabra, porque es bien común que todos digan como a crazy, as a crazy. Porque en español dirías como un loco. Mm -hmm. Right? It's, it's the normal thing. So you're translating from Spanish to English. As crazy. As crazy. I'll hold you as crazy. I'll, I'll hold you like crazy. Okay? Good. And the last one, Marlon. Mientras te comes ese helado. Hey, where is Rebecca, by the way? I saw her somewhere. Yeah, there it is. Edwin didn't wow. talk. Carlos didn't talk to. Okay, Marlon, to help me. Mientras te comes hey. ese helado, revisemos los gastos del mes. Meanwhile, you eat that ice cream. Let's check the monthly waste. Monthly waste. Ah, monthly waste. You said here, I'm sorry. Let's check. What? Basically? Month waste. Monthly waste. Yes. I have a doubt, doubt right there because I don't know if it's waste or expense. Expenses. Mm -hmm. Expenses. Expenses. Sure. Now here, mientras tanto. Okay. Right. okay. It is well. Uh -huh. While you eat that ice cream, let's check the monthly uh -huh. expenses. Okay. While you check, while you eat that ice cream, let's check the monthly expenses. Okay. Good, 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 good. Okay, questions, doubts, we're only missing six minutes, five. Okay, si no hay dudas, chicos, eh, me gustaría detener acá la clase, tenemos cinco minutos nada más, y quisiera que alguien me aclarara, me aclarase, me dijese, ¿cómo va en, en la plataforma? ¿Se han tenido algún problema con algún ejercicio o...? ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo estamos con la plataforma? Porque mañana... Yes. Okay. No problem. Carlos, yes, what's the problem? What's the matter? ¿Qué pasa? The problem is um, the... 
the platform the list and the audio Oh. Es decir, completar la... Vamos a hacer... Completar, Pero... escuchar el audio, escuchando uh -huh. el audio y completando esa parte. Chicos, eh, y... practiquemos una cosa, de ahora en adelante. ¿eh? Cuando ustedes me pidan ejercicios, eh, perdón, me pidan ayuda con algún ejercicio, siempre... Es más, solo díganme, teacher, eh, 3.6. Teacher, 3.6. Ahí en el WhatsApp, Teacher 3.6. Y ya, pues yo veo cuál es el ejercicio y ya, porque es, es necesario eh, que yo me ubique. Tengo varios grupos y ustedes, pues, eh, son el grupo intermedio 2. Tengo que meterme en la plataforma y ver el ejercicio. ¿Es this one? ¿Es this the one? ¿Es this, verdad? Yes. Carnival yes. Time. Ok, so aquí te están pidiendo respuestas bien cortas. What is a carnival? It's a party. It's a parade. It's a parade. It's a party. It's a parade. Let's see. It's okay. uy, It's a party. Do I need a, pe a period? Do I need a period here? Let me see. It's a party. Do I need a period or not? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's leave it. Let's see. Mm. No. Okay, it's a party. Teacher, I, I have tried that right like you have, but um, it's eh, la marca como correcta cuando lo pone iris separado. Cuando lo pone así. Really? Y no sé por qué. Eh, pero party. No, party. pero party. party. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, y con punto checking. al final. Okay. It's a party. Okay. Good. How long does it last? Four, four days. How much? Four days? Four days. Just like that? Yeah. Oh my God, look at that. Four days, okay. When is it? When is it? At. At the Rio. At, at, at the Rio? I guess. <laughs> Wait. Rio. Like Rio. that? Yeah. But wait, um, isn't it at Rio? Rio Janeiro, if you complete the, I don't know. the name of the city, no. You tell me, but as you can see, it's just a short answer. Anybody else? Okay. Does someone have this answer, number three? Let's, yeah, let's, I got a teacher. It, it was it. so difficult to me too, but is, it is on late February or early March. So like this, it's on late February, by the way, February mm -hmm. or, or, or early March. Or early March. <clears throat> wow. It wasn't so short. Yes. Oh my God. It's on late February or early March. Mm -hmm. Okay. What is the Samba? Que quiero, aclarar, quiero aclarar que eso está, quiero que está, aclarar que eso está mal, ¿ok? What is samba? No, what is the samba? Eh, de nuevo, el samba? artículo, el artículo va cuando sé que eso es muy específico, ¿eh? Ok, sorry. Uh, Stephanie, I think. Is a dance. Is a dance, dance, dance. 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 Ok. Hmm. Oh. Shh. It, it is a parade. It oh, is. wait, 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 wait. No, the it samba. Is, it, it, no, the samba. Uh huh. The samba is a dance. No, that's it. Ah, no, lo que pasa es que. Ah, bueno, sí, podrías poner the samba is a dance, right? Or samba is a dance. It's. Uh -huh. It is 
and then okay it's just listening to the audio and finding the, the shortest answer Ok, guys, eh, bien, los veo mañana. Por favor, estudien para su midterm. Mañana lo vamos a revisar antes de realizarlo, ok? Good. Good night, good fight. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.